Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Renstags TV and today um, Since a lot of you guys are having a hard time, you know logging into your Google account and that's You know uh, an issue right now, which there's no solution yet So right now we have a workaround that will let you install Google services, you know um, basically Google Apps anything actually that's from the uh, Google Play Store and that's gonna be by using a virtual machine kind of like you know so uh, this is called the uh, Vmos uh, Pro it's a virtual machine on Android so it will let you um, like have Play Store Google services in general so all you need to do is just to go to the vmos.com website to download it so basically you don't need to you know um, reset your phone or delete everything so whatever's on your phone right now you don't need to delete any of that just to you know uh, make sure so open up a browser and then go to vmos.com like that so from here if you want to read you know all the description first you can definitely do that if you want so you will see the features as well so what I did in my end is to download the uh, the pro version it's it's free by the way um, I have not encountered it asking for payment so I chose VMOS Pro download here so definitely you can do that and once it's downloaded since I have it here already this one here so just click on it and install it normally all right so just waiting for it all right there you go so that easy guys and uh, once you're on here so pretty much you just need to uh, continue with the setup and then enter Vmos Pro uh, one click authorization as well you need to do that and then set up now and turn on the draw over other apps and then go back allow allow I'll just do you know while in use of course allow and then from here choose the one that's 64 bit that's 7.1 uh, Android version and then just wait for it while it's installing so pretty much it's just gonna take a few uh, seconds or a minute here and by the way uh, this phone that I'm using right now is still my Mate 30 Pro and this works really well so there you go uh, right now you're what you're seeing now is actually the the Venus Pro um, environment so we, we're on the virtual machine itself all right and you don't have any um, Google application yet even the place the Play Store so make sure that you tap on uh, this one here that the arrow or just scroll up so you will see this um, icons here and uh, click on the VM setting and you and as you can see here you know you see Google services turned off and you just need to turn it on and confirm wait for it and it says complete so click on complete and that's done also um, make sure that you click on this one here that says background keep alive because you know while you're on uh, this virtual machine here and then you uh, go back to the uh, Huawei's um, own interface uh, that would make sure that whenever you get 
any emails probably or any no notifications um, well uh, you have those Google apps in the virtual machine for the Android so you would still get the notifications okay so that would make sure that you would still know that something is um, received to uh, any of your Google applications while you were on the virtual machines and you can just you know navigate back to the virtual machine and check on it so if you can see uh, there's this floating thing here on the uh, right side corner mid part so pretty much this will let you minimize Vimo's virtual machine so if you click on minimize like that you can click on home menu again here and then you will be back to your own interface for your Huawei device so that's the native um, interface here and then when you go back just click on this floating um, icon again and then there you go you're back to it and so uh, from here Let me make sure that the Google services is installed just one second here. Okay. Uh, by the way guys, after Google services is turned on, as you, as you can see right now, it's still grayed out and there's no Google Play services here yet. That's because we need to restart the phone itself. So I'm going to restart my phone right now and then I'll just go back and then so I can show you the uh, Play Store and install some applications as well and uh, at the same time you know um, log into my uh, Google accounts just to show you that it works but of course I'm not going to show you my um, credentials or something like that so I may, I may be hiding that part or just cut that uh, part so I'll be back just really quick one moment please six months later and so we have just restarted our phone and let's go ahead and launch our Vimos Pro virtual machine again all right click on play it's booting up so just wait for it just hold on so, as I mentioned a while ago, we need to restart our phone after uh, turning on the Google services from the VM setting. And right now, we have just started our phone. And uh, as you can see here on our apps list, we have Play Store already. But this one needs um, logging in. So, we're going to need to sign in. And... Uh, at this point let me check I may have to stop this uh, recording for now so I can just log in and then once everything is on here before signing in probably I'll let you see that part so you would know if it goes through or not okay so give me one second again one eternity later all right let's check again if this works give me one second here I have entered my account credentials and now we are trying to log in all right okay there you go three five eight five six seven three five eight five six seven logging in and it gave us the welcome message accept and we're in so now uh, we can try to install any apps like Facebook uh, Gmail account just to make sure uh, I misspelled that but anyway we, we have the Gmail here that can be installed right now so let's just do that and of course uh, let's also install other 
uh, essential Google applications like uh, YouTube okay and of course uh, Google Chrome as well so let's just test these uh, three applications so let's see if it gets installed completely here oh, there you go so now for the Gmail account I won't be opening that probably because it will show you my uh, email messages but for YouTube let's see if that works all right uh, there you go so just, just as you can see right now you know and we did have the uh, notification as well received here so everything is good so basically guys this is the only workaround that we can do for now but you know of course um, when we see any um, solutions that we can install Google services in our native um, environment for our Huawei devices we will definitely uh, post uh, a new video but for now this works fine for me so hopefully it works on your end as well all right so i hope this helps and uh, thank you so much guys for watching my video thank you for the support and you all guys have a wonderful day take care and peace bye for now